In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. The word of God we are going to hear. Mary, a loving mother. Let us sing a beautiful song today and listen to the word of God. No man can live as an island Journeying through life alone Since we are most loved by a mother Jesus gave us his own Be with us Mary along the way Guide every step we take Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. When Jesus met with rejection, Mary stood by the cross. How can a mother desert a son? She'll also stand by us. Be with us, Mary, along the way. Guide every step we take. Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary, come. Come with us, Mary, come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary, come. Dear Loving Father, thank and praise the Lord for the wonderful time you have given us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let your awesome presence be over here, Lord Jesus, Lord. Forgive me all my sins, O Lord Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, O Lord Jesus. Anoint me with the fire of the Holy Spirit, O Lord Jesus. Each and every word, Lord Jesus, I preach, O Lord Jesus. Let it be for your glory, Lord Jesus. As many are going to listen to this, uh, Lord Jesus, recording, O Lord Jesus, this word of God, O Lord Jesus, O Master. Lord, let them be touched deep down in their hearts, O Lord Jesus. Let them be blessed. Let them be, let them be healed. Let them be delivered, O Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Lord, my dear brothers and sisters, Mary, a loving mother. On 8th September, we celebrated the birthday of Mother Mary. Our church celebrates quite a number of feasts of Mother Mary during the year. August 15th, a feast of Assumption. September 8th, the feast of her nativity. December 8th, feast of Immaculate Conception are some of the important feasts that we celebrate. Mother Mary plays a very important role in the church as she was chosen by the Almighty God in the beginning of the creation. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Praise the Lord. A little history of Mother Mary. Saint Joachim and Saint Anama were the parents of Mother Mary. They led a very good life, pleasing to God and pleasing to the people. They were very faithful to help the poor and the needy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is said, my dear brothers and sisters, that they used to divide their monthly earnings in three parts. First part to the church and the servants of God. Second part for the poor, the needy and to, for the guests. Third part for their family expenses. Saint Anna, she did not have issues or she was not conceived till about 20 years. They used to go to Jerusalem and pray a Lord. They owed if, if she was conceived and bear a child, she or he will be offered to serve God. In the year 22 BC, they had gone to the temple for the Feast of Tabernacle. While they were coming back, an angel appeared to Joachim and said, Your wife will be conceived and bear a girl baby, and you will name her Mary. As you have owed, you have to offer this child for the service of God. While, uh, while she is in the womb itself, she will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Even about the birth of Jesus was revealed to Saint Joachim. Exactly after one year, on September 8, 21 BC, Mary was born. When Mary was three years, as promised, she was offered to the temple priest. History says, after offering Mary to the temple, the parents did, didn't uh, even go to visit her at some Praise the Lord. 
Now, my dear brothers and sisters, we will med meditate on the characteristics of Mother Mary. First of all, she bowed to the word of God. I am the Lord's servant, said Mary. May it happen to me as you have said. Luke chapter 1, 38. We are called to read, to meditate, to live the word of God and to preach the word of God. Praise the Lord. How many of us have the habit of reading the Bible, my dear brothers and sisters? We are called to read the Bible every day. Read it in a systematic way. Read it with, uh, with prayers. Read it with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We have to read the word of God. We have to meditate the word of God. Live the word of God. Then only we have to preach the word of God. If we are not ha having the habit to study the word of God, maybe from today we will start studying the New Testament first and then the Old Testament. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters, she was always praising God. Mary said, my heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God, my Savior. Luke chapter 1, 46 and 47. In First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, we see over there, in all circumstances, give thanks to the Lord. This is the will of God through Christ Jesus. In all circumstances, we are called to thank the Lord for all that he has done. And, uh, and uh, many of people, they say, count the blessings God has showered upon you. We have to count the blessings God has showered upon uh, us uh, and we have to keep praising God. We have to keep thanking God. But many a times uh, we, forget, we forget to thank the Lord. Such a lot of blessings God has showered upon us, but we forget to, to thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. So let us thank the Lord always. Thirdly, she led a very prayerful life. They gathered frequently to pray as a group together with the woman and with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Acts chapter 1, 14. Praise the Lord. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as the Lord ascended into heaven, the disciples were fear struck. But Mother Mary encouraged them, come let us go to the upper room. And continuously they prayed for nine days. And on the tenth day, we see the fire of the Holy Spirit came upon them in a... In a uh, in the tongues, in the form of tongues, praise the Lord. And uh, and uh, the, the, the people, the, the disciples were fear struck and Saint Peter, he gained courage because he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. He went out and preached the word of God and it is written in uh, Acts chapter 2 that 3,000 people were gathered to the Lord on the first day, now on the first sermon. 3,000 people were saved. Praise the Lord for that. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we have a beautiful instrument, the instrument of prayer in our hands, but whether we are using this instrument. It is said, where a family prays together, stays together. Where a family doesn't pray together, cannot stay together, because the evil one enters and causes such a lot of problems in the house, breaks the family into pieces. So this should not happen. So let us use uh, the instrument uh, the Lord has given in hands, the instrument of prayer. She was very helpful. Mary stayed about uh, three months uh, with Elizabeth and then went back home. Luke chapter 1, 56. Let us also read uh, Luke chapter 1, 39. Also, fifth, uh, fifth character, she led a holy life. Elizabeth was filled uh, with the Holy Spirit and said uh, in a loud voice, You are the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the child uh, you will bear. Luke chapter 1, 41 and 42. Mother Mary led a holy life, so only she is called uh, Immaculate Mary, Holy Mary, and we are also called to lead a holy life. As we read uh, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 and 16, Be holy as I am holy. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 Come out of all your evil habits and coming out of all your evil habits and leading a holy life is the will of God. What is the will of God? Leading a holy life is the will of God. Let us try our best to lead a holy life. Very, very difficult to lead a holy life because uh, such a lot of temptations are there and we are going to pray to the Lord and the Lord is going to give us the strength to lead a holy life. My dear brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Sixth character she shared the good news. For as soon as I heard your greeting, the baby within me jumped with gladness, jumped with joy. Luke chapter 144. Praise the Lord. Jesus is in the womb of Mother Mary and John the Baptist in the womb of Elizabeth met one another. 
so we have to carry jesus to preach the good news praise the lord we have to carry jesus deep down in our heart and then only we can preach the good news praise the lord hallelujah oh jesus in matthew 28 and 19 and 20 the lord is calling us go throughout the world and preach uh, the good news and make them my disciples i will be there with you till the end of the world the lord says and each one of us we are called each baptized christian we are called to preach the good news praise the lord so we will we'll preach the good news and save souls to the kingdom of god seventh character she carried her cross deep down in her heart and sorrow like a sharp sword will break your own heart luke chapter 2 35 Luke chapter 9.23 says, If you want to follow me, lift your own crosses on the daily basis and then follow me. Romans chapter 8.17, we uh, see over there, uh, we, are, we are called to, sh to be the shareholders of the cross of Jesus. Then only, only we are going to be the shareholders in the glory of Jesus. We are to be the shareholders in the cross of Jesus and then only we are going to be the shareholders in the glory of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, today we say that we love Mother Mary. Mother Mary is our own mother because Jesus offered Mother Mary by offering her to St. John. He has offered us also his mother to be our mother. But as Mother Mary says, do whatever he tells you to do. Jesus tells you to do when we do the things, when we listen to his commandments, when we follow the word of God, when we live the word of God, then only we can say that I love Mother Mary. And all the characteristics of Mother Mary, we are called to imbibe the characteristics of Mother Mary, then only we are worthy to call Mother Mary our mother.